it's, it, it, I believe it's moving. It's heading this way? I believe it's moving. Mm -hmm. My love. Yeah. What is this piece of equipment that's coming down this uh, makeshift road? That is a John Henry. And what's the John Henry do? Uh, John Henry uh, bores and looks for rock. No, maybe, well, no, oh, that's a John Henry, right? Yes. Yeah. How does it fit into the bigger picture of what they're doing? Uh, well, they have to... How does the John Henry machine fit into the bigger picture of the project? They are required, they promised, that they would use every effort to remove rock without using blasting. Um, I received this last Thursday, so a week ago, I received notification that they intended to do blasting anytime between the 12th of June and the 14th of July. They also have not finished using the John Henry, so I'm not sure they finished doing their due diligence, determining where they might need to do blasting or not. They just simply said, we'd like to do blasting. Uh, that's not what they promised at all. And blasting next to two live pipelines is probably not the safest idea. And, and you're saying that as a, as a human being, you would say, huh? Yeah, or an engineer. yeah. Well, no, as a property owner in Sanisfield who has been asking for the evacuation plan or a copy thereof for the last two or three months, and there really is no evacuation plan, I just think uh, this is just a bad idea. <laughs> that surely we could pause just a moment and think it through before something terrifically bad could happen. <laughs> well, that's true too. Oh, awesome! So here's Eric. We're at the site and he's sharing a little background of Kinder Morgan who are actually two people, Mr. Kinder and Mr. Morgan. And what were you saying about them? Richard Kinder and William Morgan were both high up in the Enron Corporation, both trained by Ken Lay. Richard Kinder was the chief operating officer for that company, and he withdrew all his stock and left that company days before Enron went belly up. He then bought all of their equipment, which at that time was something like 70,000 miles of pipeline, <laughs> and all the subsidiary companies for pennies on the dollar and created Kinder Morgan. They have now bought Tennessee Gas Pipe Company which had the easement on this property already and came up with the plan to add this expansion for the Connecticut market. They both escaped that scandal with no liability whatever and in fact made out like bandits to create this kind of project which goes on all over this country and up into Canada. They have a terrible track record with workers. They are, were finally found guilty of the death of nine workers in California from an explosion there. It took years of litigation to get to that point and they settled out of court after that guilty plea for a fine. There have been numerous other explosions of their pipelines all over this country and the word seems to be getting out just how vindictive and rapacious they really are. What we're seeing on the ground here is just a tiny example of what they're capable of. Thanks. This in the 50s? In the 50s, uh, the first pipeline was put in, and that was back in the day, and they didn't know any better, and they went through wetlands, and they went in steep hills, and they pretty much made pipelines that went from one state capital to the next. 
which is why this particular line goes from Albany to Hartford to Boston. And that's what they did. So this is the trench that has been built, that's, that's been dug for the third pipeline. And where you see the, uh, the flags, the little yellow flags along this one, that's the second pipeline. Sue said that FERC, in its ultimate wisdom, wanted to put all the pipelines close together. So what are we seeing here, Sue? Uh, well, that's the, the uh, John Henry wannabe. The John Henry uh, drill attachment is on that particular machine. Um, it's uh, a rock drilling. And they'll just drill down and see what's there. They're pretty close to this other pipe, aren't they? Uh, yeah, 25 feet.
The, the workers are picking up debris. Um, some of it is wattles. Those are like big nylons full of uh, straw. And then there's bits and pieces of uh, wood, which were stakes that held down the wattles. And then there's also some silk fence just lying there. Yeah, yeah. So they're cleaning up the debris because that's where the pipeline is going to come? Uh, the pipeline will go 25 feet away from the yellow marker on this side of that silk fence um, that you can see yellow marker in the green yeah. vegetated area. 25 feet to the left of that is where the new pipe will go. So they still have to clear rocks and things out of there. But during the installation of this wooden mat bridge uh, and the clearing of the trees, they had had uh, wattles placed uh, to protect the undis undisturbed wetland. Then they put in silt fence and removed the wattles. Um, except they just left them laying in the wetland. Now they're removing the garbage, basically. The stakes and the waddles and the...